The first time I noticed that I was losing my hair, I was about 21, and one of my friends very politely pointed it out. And then from, from that point on, it, I started no, noticing it gradually, and it, I was pretty much lost most of my hair by the time I was 28. You know, being bald was just something that, that I thought I had to live with. People judge you very quickly upon, upon seeing you, so I've always taken a lot of pride in, in my appearance and the way I present myself to, to clients. Um, and it's, you know, certainly part of the way I do, do my work is to have a, a professional image. I'd just changed jobs. I'd been in a, a job for about 10 years and I I'd recently had a change. Um, I'd also, you know, become quite fit and, and healthy. And I was the, the fittest and the healthiest I'd, I'd been and, and I was the happiest I'd ever been. So I had all these great things happening in my life and then I would look, look in the mirror and the reflection that was looking back at me certainly wasn't the, the person that I thought I would be when I was 18, 19, tw you know, 20. I, the, the adult standing there wasn't, wasn't the man that I thought I would, would be. I hadn't told my wife I would, I would sit on the lounge with the, with the iPad and, and kind of secretly be, you know, Googling, you know, hair, how to, how to regrow my hair. And it, it took probably, you know, three months of, of research before I even worked up the courage to tell, tell my wife that I was thinking about doing something. I'd spoken to uh, three or four other providers and um, I felt like I was just talking to, to a slick salesperson who was only interested in a sale. I, I chose to go with um, Transitions and Andrew. He, he took the time to explain the, the Sensograph and, and how it worked. He addressed any concerns that I, I had about the procedure and the process and, and how it would change, change my life. People's feedback has been fantastic. They certainly noticed that I, my look had, had, had completely changed and that I looked well and, and happy. I spoke to all of my friends and you know, they were all really supportive and, and kind of went, yeah, can't wait to see it. Once it was done, it was, um, they just couldn't believe how, how good it was. And now they forget completely that, that I didn't have hair. And I do as well, I forget that, that I'm a bald man. You know, one of the, the common themes um, of the benefits of, of having hair procedure was um, a boost in income. The boost in, in my performance was probably a couple of things. Um, I, I presented a lot better. I think it, people judge you very quickly upon meeting you and, and given um, my job is a, is a sales role, I get judged very quickly when I, when I meet new people. And I found that that judgment absolutely changed when I had hair. I was a lot uh, more carefree and wasn't, wasn't as self-conscious as I had been in the past and that, that probably came across in my, my presentations to clients. One of my concerns with, um, with getting the, the graft was um, how it would respond to my lifestyle. Um, I've got a very active lifestyle and, and do a lot of exercise and that was one of my, my major concerns that, that it, might, um, it might hinder that. But the Sensograph has, has been fantastic. It's, um, you know, I can exercise and, and be confident um, that it, it still looks great and it's, it, it's going to perform well and um, I've never had any concerns with, with it and whilst exercising or swimming or, um, you know, at, at the beach uh, I haven't tried it skydiving yet, but I, I, I want to. Uh, you know, my relationship with my, my wife has, has certainly changed. Um, you know, I now feel like we're a couple that, that um, looks like they should be together, whereas before I felt like, um, you know, I might have been letting down the team a little bit. So it's, it's great to have that confidence in your relationship as well, and, and, and my wife certainly, certainly loves the, the look.